All right, the last bit of detail about computed properties is about computed setters. So far, our computed properties have been read only. That is, they provide a different representation of the already existing data which we can bind to the template. However, you might come across a scenario where you would not only need to read the computed property value, but also set its value. For example, you might make an API call and store the result in a computed property. However, you might also allow the user to update that value so that the data can be posted back to the server. In this video, let's understand the getter and setter function syntax of computed properties. To keep the example simple, we will go back to the full name computed property. If you can recollect, we have two data properties, first name and last name set to Bruce and Wayne. We have a computed property called full name, which returns first name followed by the last name. The same is bound to the template using the mustache syntax. As you can see, at the moment, we can only get the value from the computed property. There is no way for us to set the full name. To be able to get and set a computed property value, we need to add separate functions for the property. So begin by changing full name to an object instead of a function. This object will now contain two properties, get and set. The get function will be called whenever we want to read the computed property value. In our case, it's pretty much what we had before. So return first name followed by the last name. The set function on the other hand is the function which will be called when you assign a new value to the computed property. So the function receives a value as its argument. This could be a string like Bruce Wayne. So within the set function, we split the string based on a space. This gives us an array of two names. We assign the two names to first name and last name data properties. This dot first name is equal to names of zero and this dot last name is equal to names of one. We are basically ensuring the data properties and the computed property are always in sync. Now that we have the get and set functions, Let's add a button in the template to change the full name computed property. So in the template, at the top, right after the h2 tag for computed full name, I'm going to add a button, change full name, and on click of this button, call a method called change full name. Now in the methods object, let's define the method. Change full name, where we set this dot full name is equal to Clark Kent. So here Clark Kent is the value that gets passed into the set function, which will then be split into Clark and Kent and set to first name and last name. Let's head to the browser and test this out. On page load, we have Bruce Wayne as the full name. If I click on the button, Clark Kent is displayed. Our get and set functions for the full name computed property work as expected. So if you come across a scenario where you need to both read and write to a computed property, this is pretty much how you go about it. All right, that is pretty much about computed properties in view. In the next video, Let's learn about another great concept called watchers. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.